you know, it's kind of interesting. On this date back in 1995, the pier behind me here was destroyed by Hurricane Opal. All right, this is the new pier, obviously, that was built after that. It's all concrete. It's made up of uh, the runners, if you will, that pop up as the waves come underneath it because some of the big storms can actually produce 10 to 15 foot breakers, which will roll right under the pier and pop them up. And that's what makes it uh, obviously easy to rebuild or put back together. You know, once you lose the core structure or if you will, the pylons, that's what pretty much will bring down the pier. Not the case, this is concrete. This has removable, uh, movable flats or, or walking areas. So it will come back in a hurry. We don't expect that though, because right now you have a storm that is in no way, shape or form an opal. Karen has the center here and the thunderstorms over here. And as long as you decouple those two features, you will never, ever, ever see strengthening. All right. So if the thunderstorms start to develop back over the center, that's a different story. And that may happen, but the chances are very, very slim because we know that the upper level winds are going to continue to be strong uh, over the top of this thing. There's also a ton of dry air that continues to feed in with those upper level winds. So right now, again, the chances of redevelopment are very, very low, even though uh, we see that on the advisory. So the center is going to make its way up toward Louisiana, probably convectionless or thunderstormless, while the rain still has a chance to make it over here into the Florida Panhandle. And that, after all is said and done, is still going to be a big concern. It's almost like having a thunderstorm complex over Pensacola, which we don't need because we could get six to 10 inches of rain out of that. We're already a foot above average. And uh, this area has had very heavy rain events over the last two years that they would rather forget. So uh, the bummer is it's not going to be business as usual because it will be cloudy. It will be a little rainy this weekend. But, uh, you know, the fact is, is we've had a great summer here in Pensacola Beach. We've had literally no threat at all from the tropics. So if we can rest on that, uh, that'll be a good thing at the end of the day. Matt, back to you. For continuing coverage of Karen, Winter Storm Atlas, and some possible severe weather, be sure to stay with us on the Weather Channel and weather.com. I'm Matt Sampson.